Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Nick Erner from Alcane Resources. How are you today, Nick? Very well, thanks, Tracy. Thanks for having me. Nick, you've just put out your most recent quarter announcements, and it looks like uh, you're right on track with your uh, gold production. Can you give us a bit of an update, please? Yeah, excellent. Thank you. Yeah, so we operate the Tommy Lee Gold Mine in the central west of New South Wales. In the last financial year, we did just under 80,000 ounces of production. And in the last quarter, we did just under 15,000 ounces of production. So it's it's... It's, it's an open cut mine that's been producing well for us. And we're actually right now making the transition to go underground on that mine. So we're very happy with how it's progressing. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I saw a lot of drilling. It looked like a lot of drilling results in that 80 page update you had. <laughs> Can you talk to us about some of the, yeah. the more, you know, outstanding updates? The more outstanding highlights. Yes. Yeah, ex exactly. Well, compliance does drive a large appendix in all of these um, in all these announcements. Yes, yeah, certainly. So we we operated Alkane operated a heat bleach gold mine at the town of Peak Hill, which is about fifteen kilometres south of Tommingley, um, in from mid nineties to the mid two thousands, and that um, that so that corridor is quite prospective, and we've been drilling about four kilometres south of our existing infrastructure at the Tongley Gowan, where we have a mill and processing facility operating at present. And the, it, quite quite interesting, we have three major prospective targets. We think each of them is as large as as a potential hit area as our largest pit at, at, at Tongley, and we're drilling those right now between now and Christmas. Those results will come out next year. So we've got sort of intersections, you know. You know, circa people will see in the announcement. You know, circa you know ten meters around that sort of two gram. You know, at different depths. So a lot of mineralisation, and now we're really trying to define what's economic and what what may be economic, what may not be economic in it. So quite quite interesting. Well, speaking of quite interesting and economic, I noticed you've been doing a number of M and A activities uh, too, actually, in the last month and a half. Can you talk to us about the highlights? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, we have, we have. So we built up, at the end of the September, we had 82.4 million Australian in cash and bullion. Um, we've been, you know, uh, accruing that cash up. And so we, we looked at what are, what are the kind of gold investments that are a little smaller than the majors might want. So things in that 50 to 100,000 ounce range per annum, people don't really go for, they tend to be a bit unloved by investors. And we looked at how can we contribute to those and become a, a major investor in those and then uh, use our expertise to help develop them and therefore create value for both companies. So the first one that we did was a company called Calidus. They're up in the Pilbara region, probably known to quite a few listeners for that whole conglomerate gold story. Not that they're part of the conglomerate gold story, that they have... Um, some very, very interesting surface mineralizations. So they've got, you know, approaching half a million ounces. Um, they've got, well, they've got 700,000 ounces uh, in resource. And then, you know, they, they, I think could approach a half million ounce reserve. Um, yeah, and it, it, it's at two grams at surface. So very, very interesting. And then perhaps a lot more, mm, I guess, exciting um or certainly a little bit controversial is a company called explorum they're in the south west of wa they have a thing called the tampere gold deposit and we've been in discussions with them quite some time and then a different gold company called remelius made a full takeover bid for that mm -hmm. and then we provided an alternative transaction which is just a straight placement um there for them to m maintain the shareholder base to maintain ownership and progress it so at the moment um you know remelius is reconsidering its offer and doing some due diligence stuff so where that second opportunity ends i, ca I can't really say you know uh, but certainly there's a lot of unexplored ground here is what it shows in western australia and yeah a very 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 interesting sector at the moment with the Australian gold price. Well, speaking of not a lot of love, I know in North America we have a lot of gold exploration plays that may be pounding your yeah. front door down. Can you tell us what type of M&A uh, targets that you're seeking right now or are you currently full, just to make sure your email inbox doesn't fill up after we yeah, publish yeah. this uh, interview? We invest in 
predominantly Australian gold because Australian gold, we're at plus $1,700 an ounce at the moment, you know. And so last year, my all-in costs were $1,000 an ounce. So you can understand, you know, it's a, that's a really significant margin. A lot of US producers um, are just not seeing the same margins despite having similar similar ore bodies. So we are still looking um, on an, for, you know, near development things and high prospective exploration. But in general, we're looking only within Australia at present. We'd look offshore, I think, when we built a, you know, built this um, investment base up a bit further. So I was going to say, do you think this is uh, contributing to the Australian gold rush? Because we're certainly wondering if you're planning on hopping the pond with this. Uh, we're, we're all watching. Uh, I think it will. I think it will hop the pond. I mean, we can see Northern Star, you know, investing into Canada, which was probably the first of the large uh, producers to take some of their balance sheet overseas. Yeah, I think it really depends where the Australian dollar goes, to to be honest, and and where you know US dollar gold goes. Um, it. I think that question of hopping the pond is for larger companies than ours. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, so what should we anticipate, say, in this upcoming quarter or two uh, for us shareholders watching Alcane? Yeah, yeah. On our gold business, absolutely. Um, we'll see uh, we cut the portal for underground really late this year and in early January, so we'll see progress updates on that. We um, will be doing more drilling, like I talked about, in this corridor between Twingley and Peak Hill, and so we'll see the results of that in next quarter, so that's sort of in the January to March quarter. Uh, next year, we'll understand where the Explorum transaction ends up. That that we'll, we'll know that this quarter uh, between now and Christmas, um, and then in our other investment calendars, that you know, they will be, continue to progress with both drilling results, which are excellent. People should check them out on the website, um, and and also their progress through the definitive feasibility study through the first half of next year. So all of those things um, see some pretty active part of our business in the gold. Well, thank you so much for updating us, Nick, with Alkane's Gold Projects. Thank you, Tracy. Appreciate it.